That sun's going to get us, eh? It's proper going to get us now. You two especially have just been... got the sun beating down on you hard. In the final days of the season, the Opal Whisperer's dream to fund their own family mine is evaporating in searing 40-degree temperatures and broken stones. The heat's starting to really build up here. The shade's retreating away very quickly. We've got lots and lots and lots and lots of little nuts all the way through all of this. So we really don't want to miss any. We're just going to bust through it and hopefully you get it all in before we uh, get fried. The ironstone yawa nuts they've found so far are lacking the rare and highly prized opal patterning unique to the region. All the nuts are down in here, so we'll work our way forward and then I'll just take out the whole wall again and do it, just work the whole surface again. Claim owner Dave has to use an excavator to dig out blocks of sandstone holding the nuts, but risks destroying the opal with the bucket's teeth. How's he going? Have we buried a few just here? Yeah, and there. Oh, there's colour everywhere. Really? <laughs> I must have just scraped it and lucky to see, uh, see the nuts first. There's colour here. There's another nut here with blue. Look at that. Jesus, man. There's colour everywhere. Everything's making now, oh. even on the skin of the nut. Oh, God. There could be a million dollars under our feet. Could be anywhere here. There is literally colour everywhere. <laughs> and actually, like, I'm sitting on a yawa nut. Look at this here. Oh, on the phone. Hey, nice. Look at that. That's what I mean. Beautiful dark ironstone with thick matrix blue flash. Wow. It's outrageously bright. Nice. <laughs> Guys, look what I'm sitting on. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. Holy. <laughs> it's all through the wall, man. Every single piece. Look at that. That's literally just pulling it out of the wall. <laughs> right there is about three foot of just colour band. It continues right the way along. So let's get this little baby out very carefully. We'll go from underneath it and then we'll just push it down. See that? Nice and careful. It's massive too. Is it? Whoa, dude, this is the best colour yet. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Really an opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> we are in this pit of heaven. Um, I think I was calling it the pit of hell a few days ago because of the heat, but there's literally colour everywhere. I couldn't even <laughs> actually start to put a figure on what we've found. We've got loads of nuts that are unopened, all from a level that is producing. Every single one that we accidentally broke or was broken by the excavator is colour. There's another bit there, yep. Ooh. There's some red in that. Our imagination obviously is going wild of the possibilities. Um, we, we could be on quite a fortune here, to be honest. Good job, guys. Well done, everyone. Woo! Oh, so pumped to see this stuff opened up. On their last dig before heat and storms shut down the season, oh. the Opal Whisperers have unearthed a massive 200 kilogram haul of highly rare Yawa nuts. Don't think we really prepared for the magnitude of this situation and, and what we've actually found here. Um, we're all a little bit in shock, but we've just got to get into it. Taught by his father 40 years ago, Dave saws the nuts open, exposing the kernel inside, hoping it holds opal. There's no colour on this uh, nut. Got a nice pattern, no colour. The ultimate prize is a yawa nut with the entire centre filled with opal. Nut? Nah. Third time lucky. Just one would cover the $50,000 the Whisperers need to buy their own mine. No good. Nah. No good. Nah. Nah. OK. Maybe, hopefully. Oh, a bit of kernel. <laughs> There's our first kernel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Very good one. Whoa, whoa. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God. Beautiful, eh? Oh, hey. Whoa. Look at colour. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 
Formation on Earth. Yep. That is something that you don't get to see. That is the one in a billion. Dave and the Opal Whisperers have just finished processing their biggest find ever, including a $50,000 nut they've named Yawa Moon and a mammoth 2.5 kilogram boulder. Every single piece here is phenomenal. Rare crystal opal patterning featuring the full spectrum of vibrant colours. The stones are sought after by collectors whole or can be cut and polished for unique jewellery. Over 1,000 nuts, weighing 150 kilograms. Valuation, I mean, it's something that I've done since I was 11 years old. It's always an exciting thing, usually. But today, I would say that it was the first time in my opal career that I've ever felt intimidated by an opal collection. How are we going there, Seth? To be honest, babe, we're, we're really looking at some serious value here. There was just so much there and there was a lot of adrenaline um, and anxiety of where to start. Just every crack is just filled mm. with colour. Yeah, oh, there they what? are. Top of the top. Oh, mate, every time serious? I see that, just... I need to just know what's on these. Yeah, it's 30, 30 grand on that. 30. And 50 grand on 50. that. Yeah. So what do you, you got? What's the total total? All together? Yeah. If we're looking at 80,000 for this... Yeah. We've got $1.2 million. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. $1.2 million makes this the biggest find ever on Outback Opal Hunters. The Whisperer's share is a massive $360,000. I had the experience of my life. Everything that we dreamt of came true. And, buddy, here's to your parents. Yeah. This is just awesome. You never think it's... Um...